Hello, friends. We are live. Sorry, I had the music going. But I at least remembered I had the microphone muted. How's everybody doing? So we're saying, uh, yes, yeah, uh, Josh, before we even start, dude, yes, uh, I apologize. I didn't realize how fucking stupid the checklist was because he's literally listed as a hit for the Phillies. And it's so fucking stupid. So let's just clear the air right now. If we pull a card and it does not say Phillies, but the dude is wearing a goddamn Phillies uniform, it's a fucking baseball card. There's no way around it. It's a baseball card. So it's not the non-baseball spot. There's like three other dudes. Uh, they're, they're double listed in a checklist and it's stupid. They're listed as hits in their respective teams and then for some reason down at the bottom of the actual base cards they're put in the non-baseball spot which is just free it's it's a word that i don't even want to say on camera it, it's stupid it's stupid so the checklist is is beyond lame joshua if you want out let me know before we open the case dude i'm not gonna hate you i didn't realize how fucked that was uh, I will give you the opportunity to uh, take yourself out if you want, uh, because I understand. Uh, I understand what people are saying. The other guy with non-baseball asked me the same question, and uh, the Phillies in case two, I think, asked me the same question. So uh, the checklist is fucking wrong, which is unfortunately unfortunate because I'm pretty much checklist is king, but it's literally wrong. You can common sense your way into understanding. It's not fucking Uncle Larry. It's goddamn Andrew fucking McCutcheon, the former MVP of the National Baseball or the, the Major League Baseball. You know, oh, that's it's so stupid. It's so stupid because I literally see where it says base and mini, but that that's not a non-baseball card. That's a baseball card. Period. Period. The same thing, like, I don't know who this other dude is in the gym, man. I do. Here's the thing, we've been slow for a month, and I post Allen and Ginner of all products, and it blows up, which is fantastic. I have no complaints. It's like, god damn, really? Uh, and, like, the, the Kim NG lady, I do not know how to say her name. She goes to the Marlins. She works for the fucking Marlins. That's a baseball card. So... There's, two, like, two other people, too. I, and I haven't posted a third case because I need to clean up my own listing. Uh, no, I'm good. I was just chasing that a little. I get it, dude. I get it. Eng. Eng. It's it's that obvious. Yeah, so, like, she goes to the Marlins. There's a few other folks, too, that, that I got asked me about. It's stupid. So, common sense dictates that if these people are connected to Major League Baseball teams, they're going to that respective team. So, I don't checklist kills me because i i was looking at the checklist while i'm sweating my ass off and i'm like what what are what is everybody talking about so yeah it's it's so so stupid because literally she is listed as a hit so if we look at my screen she's posted as a hit for the marlins and then if you come down here to the the end where it says none she's in here too as a base card it's so, or whatever she's posted, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, she's posted as other, which makes no sense because she's listed as a hit for the Marlins. So she goes to the Marlins. There's two other people too. Who are they? Uh, hang on. Oh, I don't want to show you guys my inbox. <laughs> uh, who was asking me? Uh, yes. Yes. And uh, somebody else on the Giants. It's just. Well, that's not even how you spell it. Well, who is she? Because she's not listed as a team. Baseball coach? Oh, yeah. So this is stupid, too. So Alyssa Nacken. She goes to the Giants, especially if her card's got Giants uniform on. She's a, she's a coach for the Giants. So, again, I'm sorry for all the confusion. That stuff is obvious. The checklist is wrong. And for once, I'm, I'm telling you, pound sand on the checklist because it's not accurate. 
if these people are affiliated with big league teams, this is a big league product, and we're going to assign them to those big league organizations. The non-baseball are people that have nothing to do with baseball, like dinosaurs and fucking reptiles and broccoli. That's not baseball. Slow day at work today, so join the break. Makes this day better for sure. Need a hit now. Now I, I, my blood pressure's high. And it's nothing to do with you guys. It really isn't. It's an oversight on my behalf. It's double listed in multiple places. It's so stupid. It's The checklist is fucked up. The last few, and I hate to say this because I uh, Tom Wolf's the group break checklist dude. I've never talked to him. I've complimented him a million times. But this one's wrong. Uh, the finest, I think the finest checklist was wrong. There was one product that had no hits listed for the Indians and then we were pulling Karen Chack autos. And another breaker told me about it before it even happened. So, uh, there's been a few checklists that have just been wrong, and that, that sucks, man. Joe, my foot is gonna go to your ass, bud. That's what's gonna happen. So, here we go, friends. I'm just gonna tilt it over here so you guys can see the seals on the case. JB will not get out of my messages. Joe, I'm trying to eat lunch. Then he starts criticizing my fucking tuna choice. Joe, I'm trying to eat this and make a list. Oh, okay, well, don't eat tuna. Eat albacore tuna. Joe, not fucking now, all right? I'm trying to eat, and I got two minutes to be live. Well, you should just really eat the albacore. You should just really eat my ass. That's that's what I say. Joe, I love you. I love you. I hope you guys are ready for this. This is, this is, this is it, boys and girls. Right here. Allen and Ginner. Baseball. It's going to be the most exciting break you didn't know you needed to see. It's really not going to be exciting at all, but historically, we've had some of the greatest times ever breaking Allen and Ginner. Just ask Chester, who came out of retirement for this product, and uh, Miller, wherever Miller's at, he needs to know that this break's happening. I'm not going to be able to see my screen for at least an hour. This break will probably be right around two hours. It's going to be very long. As for base cards, there's only like what? The hot box parallels and glossy 101s. So, I mean, you're, there's not going to be a lot of parallel chasing and what have you. Three hits per box, you don't know what they are. They don't promise any, uh, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, any three of these cards. Relic, rip, printing plates, book cards, autograph cards. Sorry, I got so fired up my nose wants to run away from me. 37 people watching. I love you guys. What's up? Anyone else with lost audio? It's got to be you. My level, I'm looking at my levels move as I speak. So I think maybe just you, sir. So this will load. There we go. Rip me some buckles. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's get into the break. Because, yeah. The, what is this, 412, 413? We'll go after this when I get set up. And then I will try to get 414 on the website. I just have to, I have to address those issues with the... With the checklist being wrong. I did not want to post the next case with more confusion over this non-baseball shit. I'm sorry the checklist is wrong. But if you know that that person is uh, tied to a major league team. Common sense would indicate that that's where they're going. Just because the checklist is wrong. The checklist is just wrong. We have pulled a few auto toppers before. So we'll check this out here. Miggy, it's going to be Miguel Cabrera. The, what are these, like N47s or something like that? N43s? N43s. Is this the one I'm in? I don't know, bud. What fucking team did you buy? Holy shit. I'm going to scare a lot of new people today. I'm still fired up. I've been running since 8 o'clock this morning. Non-stop. Non-stop. Is this the break I'm in? I, I bought a team and I, I didn't keep track of what I bought. It's like every break gets numbered and nobody cares to look. Yes is the answer, 
But why should I just give you the answer? You should know what you bought. You spent your money. Know what you spent your money on. I love you. But seriously. This, this, the most... I love sharks. I love sharks! There's gonna be sharks for everybody. Waddle, so like, not baseball. <laughs> Gonzalez, here we go. Oh, cock. We got a cock right out of the gate. Jay Cock. Is this one of those rich dudes? Is this... No, uh, in your video? Your video keeps... It's not my video. Your issues are on your end. Period. Go watch on YouTube. Go watch on YouTube. Seriously, if it's freezing... Look at the Beckett sleeves, man. Beckett fucking sleeves. Boy, you guys just might want to leave. This is going to get violent. This break's going to be violent. <laughs> Look at this. Stupid fucking Beckett sleeves, man. They're trash. Absolute trash. I might have fought. Oh, now he wants to take responsibility for his actions. Can't even eat my goddamn tuna sandwich in peace. Can't get a fucking sleeve worth the fuck. Holy cow, this is going to be a day, boys and girls. It's going to be a day. There you go, non-baseball hit number one. Yep, rich guy, this is... I'm not cranky. I'm just... Jesus, man. You want me to come over and wipe your ass for you, too? Is this is this where you took a shit? You got a roll of toilet paper for me? I'll fucking wipe that shit up. I've been wiping ass for five years now. Garrett Cunningham, Kiermaier, Harold Baines, Baltimore Orioles. People always ask why this ain't happening, why that ain't happening, and then I'm answering stupid fucking questions. I have no problem answering questions, but make it a good one. Like a legitimate question. About the checklist. Fantastic questions. Bring those to the inbox. Don't ask me what spot you bought. You know what you bought. You got an email confirmation. You got money pulled out of your damn account. It tells you where it came from and what it went to. You got a thank you for your purchase or whatever it tells you when you check out. Because I appreciate your business. But help yourself. I love you. Help yourself. The more time I gotta spend doing that. Oh boy. Guess not. I'll try later. How what'd you say, Bob? How many drinks could get through to bring... Ooh, lots of drinks. Yeah, what'd you say, babe? She didn't say anything. Guess not. I'll try later. Guess not what? <sighs> now I gotta check the chat. Oh shit, it's a tree. Ooh. Hell, I missed you, babe. Oh, anyone else with lost audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No hell. So that's like that's a good question. Dudes having audio problems. Let's help them out. That isn't stupid. I know people told people when they were growing up that there's no such thing as a dumb question. But I'm here to let you know it's 100% false. Martinez, uh, with a parallel of sorts, this is not a base mini. Rod Carew as well. The minis have more parallels than the actual base set of cards. Just gotta kill the app and reload. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the I don't know the deal. See, like, look. I mean, why would anyone think this is non-baseball? This is the checklist problem right here. Who? Why? That's not not. She's literally wearing a baseball uniform. Jason Biggs is not baseball. He's a pie fucker. He's not a baseball player. Tops put a pie fucker in their product, but they won't talk to me because I swear too much. I, I don't understand. Ooh, is that Griffin? They got the kid. Facebook app's garbage. Facebook desktop is garbage. The Facebook platform, since they started fact-checking shit, and this is politics aside, literally when they devoted resources to doing that, everything else went downhill. You can't tag properly. I click a notification, it takes me to the notification screen. I still have to manually refresh the browser for the new info to pop up. It's nuts. There's no way around it. It's just crazy. The argument for it to be non-baseball is technically they aren't a player. It's oh, The argument against that is don't be stupid. Josh is going to get mad at me for saying that. It's not an argument when they're wearing a baseball uniform. It's not baseball players. It's a baseball team that you're buying. They're a part of the team. You're not just buying the active roster. 
because then we're taking all the prospects out, you know, etc. So to counter that argument, instead of you know, just insulting you, I, I would just say that, uh, you know, they're a part of that organization, and you bought that organization. You didn't buy the team. You bought the Blue Jays and everyone affiliated with the Blue Jays or the Giants or whomever you chose to purchase. There's no better entertainment. You got to tell your friends. You got to tell your friends. I just love that I can say exactly what I feel and nobody gets so upset that they never come back. Some people might, and that's fine. We'll see you later. Two more will replace you. And we'll have more fun collectively as a group of humans opening sports cards. Baseball cards are for baseball players. I, I agree. But baseball uniforms go to wherever you spent money to buy said team. Roger Maris. Allen and Ginner strikes again before we ever even open a pack. Who gets the Oak Tree card? Non-baseball, 100%. Without, without a doubt. Oh, Derek Lee, let's go. Go Cubs, go, baby. I love it. D. Lee. He was one of my real first sad trades as a Cubs fan. Derek Lee was a real heartbreaker. Kyle Hendricks. And we got the Giant Panda. Very nice. Team Forest. Hell yeah, the Forest team. The Trunk Spot. Whoever bought the trunks gets the tree. There's Mike Trout for Bauer. He said pull him a trout. So there you go. I'm off the hook there uh, on a technicality. Max Scherzer. And a cruise ship. Ooh, baby. Cruise ship. What's the big non-baseball card going to be, though? Because there's one every year. What was last year? We had the egg. We had cryptocurrency. Uh, there's other... What was last year? Last year wasn't the egg. I think the egg was the year before and crypto was the year before that. But there was a... Damn it. What the hell was last year? I forget. We were having too much fun breaking it last year. We're, that was literally some of the just most nonsensical breaks I've ever been a part of. Oh, yeah. I'm off the hook, bud. You didn't ask for an auto. I gave you what you want. No more requests, please. Alec Bohm. Daryl Strawberry. Johnny Bench. Why does... uh? Because some of it goes for gigantic money, Brian. That's, that's what I'm asking last night. I forget what... You're not going to get numbered cards in this product. Aside from a mini or a one one Um... Uh... A, because people like the celebrities. B, this is cool. Zebra shot. I'd buy a whole insert set of these shark cards. I'd do it. I don't give a fuck. Super cool. Um, that's why I told Kronowski, if he wanted off the hook, I'd keep non-baseball for this case over the checklist mix-up. The guy in case two is cool with uh, putting the players where they need to go. I've addressed the situation with the individuals that are involved, so anyone else who has two cents to add, I, I don't care because I've already talked to the people that spent the money. Uh, but like I said, I, you guys heard me here at the beginning. I offered Josh off the hook because there's some cool stuff in non-baseball. And if that's a, you know, if that's a deal breaker for somebody, I'm okay with that. Folks just got to understand, I'm, I'm okay if anybody ever wants to back out. But once you start, you can't back out. Strowman. Ooh, we got a nice pine tree here. You know, that, that makes some pretty sturdy furniture. In and around your house. It is what it is. It looks like we're going to get three relics in this box. Ooh, we got the blue shark. It's a little longer and more narrow than your traditional shark. I'm not a shark expert, though. Ooh, we got a baseball player. This is what I'm talking about. Two-thirds of these hits were baseball players. So, literally, I charged, like, the non-baseball is, like, a fifth. A fifth of the spot. A fifth of the total case price. And you're going to get more than a fifth of the hits for non-baseball. It's, like, almost guaranteed. So you got a third of them just out of one box. That's why I can't I can't express that enough about in my years of doing Allen and Ginner, the baseball spot continue or the, the non baseball spot continues to increase and increase for me because it is such a gigantic part of the product. Gigantic part of the product. And I don't think anybody who's not charging this much is probably charging you way too much for the teams that are not going to uh, give you the results that you want. 
so that's why we did it the way I did it. Okay, so she's not in a Marlins uniform, but there is a gigantic M logo on her uh, suit, Marlins, all day. Oh, extra hit. Look at this, number to 10. Who I don't even know what it is. Peter Kelly, senior talent licensing planner. Who the fuck is this? But there you go. This could be money. I don't know. Some of these people will be worth a ton of money. Bearing the signature, senior licensing talent planner. What does that even mean? Who is he? Employee autograph. Oh, is he a Topps employee? So there you go. This might be worth money because it's a dude from Topps. Now I actually got a name of a guy that works at Topps. Look at that. <laughs> That's Angel. <laughs> he says, no, this is a Topps employee. Maybe he's on Twitter. Maybe I can tweet to him and he'll ignore me. It'll be great. Go look that up. Oh, we got a blue spruce, though. This is almost cooler. Blue spruce. Not your traditional spruce tree. So there you have it. Extra hit in box one. Take that. But again, it's non-baseball. So that's 50% of the hits in that box are non-baseball. Trevor Lawrence, also non-baseball, would be a huge hit uh, if you would hit. And this is a 101. Carl Yastrzemski with a mini 101. Bang, Red Sox. Eric Pelletier, congrats, bunny. This is a, a, a sight for sore eyes, essentially. This is not something you will see a lot. I do not have mini loaders, so I'm sorry you get a full-sized one. Carl Yastrzemski. Bob Shoemaker, you're going to be eating... Uh, uh, I'm done. I don't want to. I just don't want to shit talk you guys so badly. I don't want to do it. I love you guys, but you guys keep saying things that make me say things that I might not necessarily mean, just to say things. I like them big. Well, this one's mini, babe. So maybe you can. You could probably get some good money though, Eric. I would assume a one on one if uh, Yastrzemski. I'm not saying you're going to get rich, but you should probably get your spot back. What are the Red Sox? In the neighborhood of 60 bucks, something like that? Be all right. That's a hell of a first box. For Allen and Ginner, this is a fantastic box. Especially if that Topps guy's worth any sort of money. Oh, the Humpback Whale. Boy, I'm getting me a set of these, too. Humpback Whales. We like talking shit. I like talking shit. Hey, Laura. <laughs> Don't what me like that. You said what? You said fuck you want. That's what I heard. Uh, will you grab me a Pepsi? Is there any more in there? In the fridge? I don't know. Uh, Amanda started drinking Pepsis all of a sudden. I don't know. See if there's... I, there might be another six-pack not in the fridge. Let's get... No, I want a, I want a cold one. I want a cold one. But I want to make sure there's going to be more cold ones where they came from. Gibson Meadows, Wood Jr., Posey, Howard. There's a ton of cards in here. Tramel Strawberry. Ooh, little mini Key Brian Hayes there with another Key Brian Hayes. IPC Yaz. There you go, bud. Nice. I'm sorry that it's a mini, but that's pretty sweet. Is there another six pack on the floor? I put it in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. Because I think she bought cans, but when she brings, she buys pops, she leaves it in the car. Like she don't bring, she makes me bring it in, but I never remember to bring it in. So I'm busy. But I, she had a can, and I knew we were out of cans yesterday. I'm like, where the hell did you get? I think she opened a, a case of Pepsi, and she has an open case of Pepsi in her car right now. Instead of, like, bringing it in, she just opened it and left it back there. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, Bart, I agree. Bart, how are you, friend? I feel like I do recognize your name, whether it's been in a video or anywhere else before. How you doing, friend? Welcome to Underground. There's Uncle Larry. In the gosh darn Phillies uniform. I'm sorry. Ooh, rose breasted cockatoo. We're going to need to see some more uh, breast, though. Uh, with the birds. People, there's bird collectors out there. They only get to buy bird cards once a year. Maybe Allen and Ginner Chrome, too. Maybe twice a year now. Allen and Ginner Chrome has some of the most beautiful autographs, though. I think we only got like three or four in our case. Last year, I only did one case of it last year. I was afraid of what it was going to be. But it was more baseball than uh, traditional. But it was those autographs, those Chrome Allen and Ginner autographs, mm, those are nice. Road sodas. 
Indiana calls it pop. I call it whatever the fuck I want, Joe. Why don't you tell me I should drink Coke, too? Since you're telling me how to live my life over there. I want everybody to live their own life and be happy. What's that thing? There's like two rules of business. Mind your own and stay the fuck out of mine or something like that. <laughs> what do you, what do you, what do you? Whoa, with the, you're, you're going to take the, take the, oh, a big pen? I don't have any. I'll order some, though. I'll literally order some. It's an office supply. <laughs> I just only use those pilot pens, but you need them to write on the bubblers, don't you? Yep. I can wear a Pirates jersey and take a pick. Uh, if you're on a baseball card, box stopper Tatis Jr. At least these come in wrappers. At least these toppers are finally back in wrappers. Good lord. Oh, I can wear Pirates. Oh, jeez, Josh. Are you still butthurt, bud? Josh, I gave you the option to get your money back. You could probably play for the Rangers if you... I think there's some people that can play for a lot of teams right now. Some of these losers are watered down. Some of these losing teams are extremely not competitive. Speaking of Coke, we have a question about Daryl Strawberry. I probably can't answer it, but yes, he did. <laughs> uh, Dansby, we have the Great White, the King of the Ocean or something like that. I'm not an oceanographer. I don't know the food chain there. And Tariq Scooball, third baseball hit of the break. No autograph yet, though, for the baseball guys. Hey, Laura. She ran away. She ran away. Tariq Scooball, Detroit Tigers. That's why some of these baseball teams are extremely cheap. When's the last time you saw a $10 team at Underground? Shipping's going to be four of those dollars. And then time and material is going to be, like, another four of those dollars. You're literally paying like $2 for your team. I know the consumer will not see it that way, but from a business perspective, it's literally like a $2 team. Want to play 2021? Uh, baseball? Dude, I'm doing breaks. I got breaks. You want to come break cards with me? Anybody want to come? Anybody ever wants to be a guest on the stream, baby? Talk to me. I'll do it. We'll make it happen. Need fucking 10 proofs of vaccinations. <laughs> 17 negative COVID tests in the last six hours before you enter my studio. Uh, all sorts of things. Uh, James, it depends. I got another case after this. These are long breaks, man. And my kid has cheerleading later. So I, I, I would, I'm, I'm down. I just don't know when I'm going to be available. 48 people in here. Hello. How we doing? Welcome. Mickey Moniak, Lizardo, Brock, Cepeda, Sheffield, Lasorda, David Cohn, Alex Bregman. And my shipping department's bailing on me during peak card time. It's cool. I got your replacement. Oh, this is the dude from Ridiculousness, I think. That guy, Stilo. That show would be great if it wasn't 15 minutes long for a half hour episode. That's always been MTV's biggest problem. Since they stopped fucking around with uh, music. The fact that they have more commercials. I think, I think I forget what network it was, but like the reason half-hour shows have to be 22 or 23 minutes now is because there was literally a program that was like not giving you that much material for your half-hour, so you were just watching commercials the whole half-hour. Field of Dreams Showdown 99 Clemente? Well, I have to dig into that. I'm just so uninterested by the entire Field of Dreams anything. I don't care about those teams. I don't care about the players. I hate the movie. Uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson is a disgrace to baseball. Uh, by my accounts of history, so that's an unpopular... That's, a, that's literally a gigantic unpopular opinion. There's so many people that love the guy, and no one was alive to even know anything about what happened back then, so I, I really don't want to hear it. Uh, but throwing a game, and let alone a World Series, is terrible... But they didn't get paid any money back then. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear it. I, I, I don't. The movie's not about that, but it's involving him. I'm not interested. Oh, we got Bald Eagle. This is the card right here. That's why. This is more American than... Mm, this card screams America. I need to put a little bandana on him. You know, looking real majestic. Uh, Mickey Moniak. 
rookie relic for the Phillies. And then the 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 games tomorrow, yeah, the tickets were like seven billion dollars. There's one lady. There's one lady who, uh, as a customer, I haven't seen her in a while, but she lives in Iowa and she wants to. She wanted to go to the game, and I literally wanted to buy two tickets and just send them to her. Be like, hey, go to the game, have a great time. But they're like a thousand dollars a piece. I haven't looked in a few days, maybe a week. It's been a while since I looked, but they were expensive as hell. No, I can't, John. Pull a chain link fence, yes? Hottest card in the set. Is it really? I don't know. I want to know what the hot card is. Because I don't remember what it was last year. But before that it was the egg. The egg sold for stupid money. The crypto card is still worth a ridiculous amount of money. I sold a raw hotbox crypto card for like $400. Just one card. It was from a hotbox. For like $400 in March or a April. Maybe even May. At a card show. Some dude came up. He's like, yeah, I want... He's like, do you have anything else in the crypto department? Or like, he was like, literally that's all I collected was the... The strange, eclectic, Allen and Ginner trendy shit. He said he, he told me he had a bazillion of them. Black labels, all kind of... He was, he was real cool to talk to. Oh, Pyotr Jan. Featherweight champion of the world. Bad little dude. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Bantamweight. Bantamweight. Pretty sure he's Bantamweight. I sold my base crypto for 50. They're still at like 30. Yeah, they're crazy money, man. That's why I, I tried. I told people yesterday. said, listen, I don't know what anyone else is doing in the breaking community. But non-baseball is going to be by far and away the most expensive spot. And if you've never seen an Allen & Ginner case broken before, watch it and you'll understand why. Uh, it's just, I mean, we got this Arbutus. Ooh, Josh got a nice butt tree. Butt tree card. Butt tree card. Laura, what are you doing out there? Uh, do you have, like, table room anywhere? Uh, like, yeah, on the white table, maybe? There's just, like, lots of minis in these, so they don't stack well. So, like, don't make very high stacks. My phone is about to die, and I'm on the beach, so I gotta head out for now. All right, sir. Well, maybe I'll pull you a nice beach card. See what see what the this brings us. Ooh, game used Juan Soto. It's game used. It's better than flagship now. You know, hundred points. Mm -hmm. If we have them, I think we do. Larry Dolby, and we have another black tip shark. How do rip cards work? I ship them to you unless you want me to rip them. I prefer to rip them, but they sell for a ton of money unripped. And usually it's not the greatest of results. Oh, Joe Adele's got base rookies in here, bub. You're good to go, JB. Get me some more sharks. That's what I'm talking about. Base Kim sold for 10 bucks. Yeah, goes to the Marlins. Goes to, why would anyone think that... I don't understand. I understand how the non-baseball person would want it to be non-baseball, but it's not not baseball. She's affiliated with the Major League Organization. I just checked the back set of minis because they're hand-numbered. Even the 101 was hand-numbered. They're all, they're all hand-numbered. They're not like stamped or anything like that. Peas. So there's peas. Mini peas too. West Indian manatee. He's got some, some stuff growing on him. Hang on. What? So that card that was unsigned, is it worth more? I don't I don't know. James, I have no idea. I tweeted the tops Will Smith, man. Nobody like Nobody cares. Like it's, it's so frustrating, man. Especially being in a position I'm in where I run a legitimate business. A legitimate tax-paying business. I do everything the right way. And I can't even talk to anybody when something's wrong. 
Like, I'm not a ripping shipper. I'm not fucking pulling out guns in Target, fucking threatening people's lives and robbing people over fucking stupid ass retail shit. Like, here running a professional business. I sell shit on the website. Everybody hates it, but it's professional. I do everything I can. Whenever I have questions, I can't talk to anybody. So, I wish I know. I wish I would uh, be able to answer that for it. I would assume it would be. Because it's literally like a blank check from Tops. You could write anything on there, and it says on that card they certify it. <laughs> so, I don't know what you could do. You know, you could draw a picture of a dick in the autograph space. And Tops certifies that that's Will Smith's autograph. I think all the minis that come out of the rip cards are considered short prints. So, if you do rip your rip card, sell the short print if you do not want it immediately. After a few weeks, it'll be forgotten about as a short print. And you'll have a, a much harder time selling it for any sort of money. It's just a strange card. It's strange that it got through. Like, how did they not realize it? I, I would assume they have to put the autographs in the packs. Like, I don't know how they, I don't know how they fill a pack of cards. There's, I have so many questions about how it actually all works. Ah, uh, that's a good cold Pepsi. Who, who had the over-under on drinks? Because this is technically my second. 45 people watching. What's up, friends? Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you know when I'm live. And that way, if you're in a break now or in the future, you don't need to worry about asking me for a tag because I'm the worst tagger on planet Earth. I don't even do it. I don't even offer to do it. Uh, Tops, give this man a tour. I wish they would just say hi. Why can't we work together? There's Trout. Game used Trout for JB. Two of us took the over. Okay, line's at six. Does a 16-ounce bottle, does that count as two drinks, though? Because well, it's it's two servings. I'm trying to make somebody some money. I just need to know, you know, who I'm rooting for here. Because if I drink six of those, I'm going to need a gigantic restroom break. I don't know if I finished my thing, but it's better to get a notification and not need it than need a notification and not get it. That's my big sales pitch on uh, turning on the bell. See McCutcheon. How come this doesn't say Uncle Larry? He's wearing a Phillies uniform. Oh, wait. He's different from... Oh, come on. One and one third of a drink. Guriel Blackman. Sycamore. 12 ounce serving well eight is actually one glass so it's like eight ounces is a serving 12 ounces you might think because that's like a can but really obviously the can will give you that as the serving but if you're talking about fluid eight ounces is one cup if you're in the states i don't it's all done by liters in canada right with the metric system i don't know how that works why does Okay, so here's the first thing I thought about when I just read your thing, James. If you have an ulcer, I understand a stomach ulcer is like a, 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 a sore or like a exposed part of your uh, stomach. But why would a calorie number? That's stupid. 2,100 calories? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a calorie limit. It should be like a volume limit. Because the more you put in your stomach, the more you're going to have to digest. But when you eat healthier food, you can eat more volume of it for less calories. So you, you'd be making your stomach work super hard. But I'm not a doctor. That's just my initial thought to that. Is calorie is a weird, a weird thing to be restricted on. I would think they would say, hey, only eat three times a day. Or, you know, and, and be reasonable with it too, of course. But that's crazy. 12 ounce, uh, yeah, I, I think we're under on the drinks. Sorry, friends. Under. I'm betting the under. Do I get banned from the Breaking Hall of Fame, though, if I bet on myself? Ryan Sandberg. I just want to win, that's all. 
I'm sorry to hear that though. That's a, that's a strange, strange to me. Losing weight, but multiple meals throughout the day, and it's five times to keep the acid down. Five times. Oh, eat five times. So they want you to eat 2,100 calories, spread out five times a day. So like four, 420 calories a meal. That's very actually doable. You could just eat eggs all day, eggs and toast. Some like, like uh, get like two percent American cheese. Because that actually tastes okay. If you get fat-free American cheese, it's pretty disgusting. I won't even eat it. It's less calories, but it's fucking terrible. It has more protein, but I just happy medium at the 2% American cheese. It's good enough. It melts, too. The fat-free cheese doesn't melt very well. Yeah, I'm like officially down over 50 pounds. I was, I was yesterday, I just wanted to wait till today to confirm, because I did a body scan thing, and I, obviously I didn't get, like, naked for it, but I was, like, more than, I was, I was way different, uh, numbers on the body scan than my scale at home. Nico Horner for the Chicago Cubs, bat route. No, it was, a it was an O, Tommy, with an H. O-H, Tommy. More sharks, though. More sharks. That's what I'm talking about. Lose that weight, baby. Get healthy. I guess if you say losing, lose weight, that's like body shaming or something. I heard Pinterest, you can't advertise. There's like fitness people I follow. They can't advertise on, on Pinterest anymore because advertising weight loss is body shaming or some dumbass bullshit. So advertising to help people lose weight and get healthier so they can live longer lives is body shaming. I'm sorry, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I was a gigantic fat fuck, and I'm still technically fat. And I have no problem with anyone saying, hey, you're fat. It is what it is, man. It's true. Like, oh, is it painful because it's true? Like, oh, but I have a thyroid or some bullshit. No, you have this thing where you're eating too many calories. Weight loss is so simple. It's calories. That's it. That's all it is. It's so ridiculous. Like, I literally looked in the mirror, I put my shoes on one day, and I went, wow, that was more difficult than I wanted it to be. So, then I'm like, huh, I wonder how fat I am. <laughs> That's a big number. And then I'm like, shit, well, I guess it's time to do something about it. They should, it's, 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 uh, I, I... I'm all for people being happy, but healthy is more important than happy. I want people to be healthy. Subject used memorabilia. Michelle Akers, soccer player. So this goes to non-baseball. I agree. They should not glory. They, they should not. Yeah. Obesity is not something to be celebrated. I was ashamed. Like, fuck, I'm, this is ridiculous. I got little kids. Like, well, what am I doing here? I'm not going to be able to fucking run around with my little kids. I keep doing what I'm doing. So, uh, time to do something different. Oh, yeah. I would love that. Acres. Hi, Megan. Welcome to the group. Saw the request the other day. I'm, uh, different than most. I wasn't in sixth grade. I was hell. I was, I was always big. Just, I've just always been big. Like, I did a body scan thing yesterday. So, like, uh, the average male that's six foot is supposed to be, like, 144 to 180 pounds. I have, like, 196 pounds of lean muscle mass on my skeleton. So, I couldn't even be that small at 0% body fat. That's why the general guidelines are, you can't go by that stuff. You can't, you know what I mean? So, like, that's, like, the opposite. So, like, people say, like, you can't go by your weight. You can't be like, oh, I'm 250 pounds, I'm overweight. You might not be. Yeah, a chart's going to tell you you are 100%, but if you're like a strong, active person, like I'm 250, I'm I'm still overweight, technically. But I don't think so uh, based on the body scan results. Yeah, it's all it's all lame, dude. I, I got this whole, I got a whole fucking chart of things. 
but this was like more of an in-depth like they measure you and scan you and hold is is in depth there is one hot there should be one hot box in Ginner, if i'm not mistaken i've been watching it for a while i haven't worked due to acl surgery limit calories again what do you think about paleo see okay so uh i'm very uh sorry to hear that by the way i'm 190 14 percent body fat and five yeah you're five nine exactly i'm i'm six foot i'm six foot i'm 246 right now and i'm i'm not considered obese anymore but on a normal chart it would say i'm obese that's the problem i think it's like over 200 pounds you're obese or something like that but i'm not literally not I can go run, well, not right now because I already did, but I can go run six miles right now if I, I wanted to. I don't think too many obese people could do that. Uh, yeah, you're, if you're 14%, your body fat percentage, if you can get an accurate reading of that, that's all that matters. That literally puts you in like an athlete range or a, a fitness range for sure. Because I think males are what, like 25 is like the high end of normal for males, like 18 to 25 uh anyway limit calories paleo okay so i don't know anything about any of that i'm not a i'm not a doctor a dietitian a nutritionist i'm I'm none of those things i only know what works for me and for me it's literally uh calories in calories out i don't care about carbs i don't care about fat all i care about is calories and protein because i'm active so since you're uh on one leg I don't know how active you are, obviously, so you might not need the protein, but, like, I'm lifting weights and doing cardio and building muscle while I'm losing weight, which is not the easiest thing to do. Um, so I'm, like, all I care about is protein. I'm, like, it's, like, bro science for me because that's literally what I actually need to do. It's, like, oh, protein, protein. Like, I have cereal that's 20 grams of protein a serving. That's an absurd amount for anyone just wanting to eat a bowl of cereal. Uh, I will be 31 in two weeks, two weeks from today. So that gives you guys plenty of time to shop for my birthday. I, uh, I'm like an extra large to a 2X now, down from a 3X, you know, so I'm, uh, you know, we're doing that. I don't even know, I haven't bought any clothes, so you guys want to buy me some clothes, you know, just send them on down to the return address on your, uh, packages. <laughs> I'm just kidding, nobody send me shit for my birthday. Just buy a spot and a break, you know what I mean? That's, that's the best birthday present. Just keep supporting Underground. Don't buy me a thing. I'll actually be mad. Uh, what do we have here? Pardo. Jimmy Pardo. The worst part is I couldn't even... I don't even recognize the guy. I'm 6'186 and considered overweight. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, like, my problem is I literally put on a ton of muscle while dropping this 50 pounds. So, like, I feel strong. But I still got a bunch of fat to get rid of, too. So I've been, like, doing two things at once instead of just doing one thing and then the other. It goes by, yeah, yeah, neck neck and waist. Yep, you're right. Height, height, neck, and waist is the military. Yeah, they want your neck measurement, your waist measurement at the narrowest point of your waist. Not above or below. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's your age, your height, and your weight. The military standards for the body fat. There's a few other tests. My third? Holy cow. I'll send you a shirt for sure. No, don't, don't send me a shirt. I'll send you a shirt. I just probably don't have your size. I have only big people sizes left until I. I've been wanting to do new, new, uh, new merchandise too. I just haven't got around to it. Uh, two ace. That's unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. Golfers have dedication. They're still in the backyard playing. Oh, yeah, you live on a golf course. I mean, they paid money. <laughs> if they paid money for the round of golf, you know what I mean? I disc golfed in the rain once. I was pissed. I just wasn't going to chicken out or, like, leave. I'm like, come on. It literally it started sprinkling as we started disc golfing. And I'm like, really? You, you're still doing this and i'm not very good so that's my, that's my problem like i'm i don't even i don't practice i just go play when i have time so like i i don't practice and i'm i only started playing last year so i'm like uh, i'm i'm probably better than i should be 
but I'm not good. Like I've never I've never shot even on a disc golf course. Been like plus two or threes, maybe been like my best round. Uh, you have to spend nineteen ninety nine, Joe Bar, and you got to do it on the website. They're available nineteen ninety nine free shipping. You can get your underground T shirt. If you're looking for a free T shirt, I just randomly give those out, and I don't feel like giving anything out right now. I give and I give and I give. The folks that have been here know I'm a giver. But not today. I'm going to get you a large shirt with my face on it. Yes. Hey, I, I'd wear it. Dude, I swear to God, I'd wear the fuck out of that. <laughs> That'd be funny. You're an ass. I mean, I'm just telling you where the shirts are. Literally not giving anything away today. So that. See, look at that. I'm an asshole because I'm not giving free shit out. I love it. Tissues. I have. I, I've, I've, I've sent off autograph tissues. For the tears. Don't think I'm not above a joke. I love a good joke. Ooh, Sea Dog, what up? Willie Mays? Did we open the topper? I don't just don't let me forget about that topper. Need a brace hit. <laughs> Dude, I've been here like four years. Yeah. Oh, we have an autograph. It's gonna be the second autograph. What is this? The fourth box? Sand Shark. It is it's not. <laughs> it's not, it's just a relic. Oh, it's a framed relic of Bryce Hopper. This fucking guy. Four years? Yeah, I've been here like four years too, babe. Where's my shirt? Where's my Joe Bauer shirt at? Hmm? Hmm? What size shirt do you wear, Joe? What size shirt do you wear? Because I got a feeling they're out of stock. I will send you one. Is it going to have your face on it? Uh, no, it wasn't. They're just mini framed relics. I forgot that they do this. This is like the old school way they did relics. And then usually the not framed ones were always the, the actors and non-baseball. Generally speaking, they'll have framed it as well. But I didn't even think. I just saw the frame and got excited. Honest mistake. Todd Helton, Mazarowski. The base cards are boring, though, friends. I'm sorry. The big full-size base cards only have one parallel outside of the hot box. That's the glossy. Depending on shirts, I oh, so now you're special. So now you're so what are you? You're a fucking two or three X. You want me to send you both, and then you send me back the one that you don't want? What do you think that they're already pre-wrapped? Because I'm fucking classy. So when I ordered them, I paid the extra 50 cents a shirt, my cost, not yours, so that they came already bagged up and nice and secure for you. This fucking guy. They fit pretty true, though. They're gilded cotton shirts. They're heavy cotton shirts. So they're like heavier than a, a normal shirt. So I don't know if you're familiar with that brand, Gildan. It was, uh, it, I didn't buy cheap shirts. They were, they were, I bought a hundred of them and I think they cost me around $10 a piece and I'm charging 20 and five of that shipping because shirts are bigger than, you know, a, a normal card. They are screen printed. They are, they are. And, and they're four colors. That's what made them more expensive. I didn't cheap out on the colors. I don't have my shirt on, but, uh, it's just like this. Because it's they charge you by the the more colors they have to use the more expensive it is which is on I, I understand why people do just like two color shirts because it's way cheaper. We have the Nelson Lamette and a brown bear. The Nelson Lamette for the Padres. This is boring. Hey, if you don't like it, change the channel, bub. There's 43 people still watching this. An hour into the break. That's fantastic. Because this, this is a boring break. This isn't an exciting break. I, I was so floored that you guys filled two cases. Like I, I'm very pleased. It's been slow for the last month. Or better. And then Alan and Ginter brings the, po the folks out. 
You guys make me want to do more pick your team stuff. I was even talking to another breaker today about how I, I did something I've never done uh, strategically in my own pricing today to give myself an opportunity to help help fill the break if we needed to. Uh, there's 27 on Facebook. There's 15 on YouTube. I have, I multicast, bud. It's not just Facebook because I hate the platform. I just started on Facebook, so I'll never leave it. But the platform has gone to absolute, almost unusable dog shit. And it's unfortunate. Plus, I hate the culture of Facebook. It's all groups and territorial bullshit. It's mine. It's yours. It's yours. It's my, this is my group. You can't do that here. This is your group. I can't do this there. Can I post this? Can I do that? Do I have post approval? What's the dice roll? How many admin? Can an admin contact? I want to post something for sale. This fucking Facebook sucks. That's Facebook. Every Facebook group on planet Earth. 27 people watching low quality video. <laughs> That's funny because it's true. YouTube literally is a better quality stream visually. Not that that's what people really need, but it uh, it is. Facebook is max capped at 720 on resolution. YouTube will at least let you go to 1080 on the resolution portion of things. So what in the world? We got a galaxy? The nebula? This looks like a Milky Way. Who's got the candy bars? Beach. Beach nut. Yep, I used to chew it, friends. She had a big old bag of leaves. Had to wrap it in bubble gum in college because the umpires could come and ask you. They'd do this. And I played first base most of the time. So I had an umpire right behind me all the time. And then I almost got in trouble. I was at Myrtle Beach. And I had, I had one wrapped in real good. And I just let out a... I turned around. I didn't think. I, I just uh, threw the ball in. And I turned around and spit. And we were on a turf field, so we weren't supposed to have any seeds or anything anyway. And I just... Big old stream of brown. And that umpire came up to me. And he was... I, like, literally spit, like, a foot from his foot. And I was like, shit. He came up to me and said, son, I don't care. But I better not see it the rest of the game or I'm going to care. <laughs> I said, you got it, bud. I said, you got it. Because they literally can suspend you for that. Uh, thumbs are good, man. This is way... This isn't... This isn't Gypsy Queen. Gypsy Queen was brutal. These packs are fine. Can you live comment on YouTube? Yeah, absolutely. You just have to have a YouTube account. So as long as you're logged in to YouTube, you can comment. 100%. I got YouTube. My that's like uh, I can't show you, but my my chat, it doesn't show me when people like Facebook. If you just stream on Facebook, it shows you like when people come in. Cause I used to be like, hey, film pro, I'd see you join the the stream and be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You know, I used to invite or uh, uh, talk to everybody that joined the stream, even if they uh, really didn't mean to. But I don't get to see that. All I see is your name and a Facebook or a YouTube logo. That's the only thing I really see. It's like an all-inclusive chat window. Ever do the little flavored mini packs? No, I didn't. Uh, I did not. We just wrapped uh, Chew. You couldn't do it with uh, like actual uh, Chew. You had to do it with Leafs or pouches, but pouches are terrible. Uh, JD Martinez. But you wrap it in Big League Chew. You could wrap it in Big League Chew, and as long as you didn't really chew on it, you were good if you had to show. And if somebody's like, hey, what's in your mouth? I'm like, yeah, dumb. That's the end of that. I'm watching you on my TV. All right. But Bobby, I just opened some 91 football cards. Have so much bubble. Oh, I, had, I chewed some uh, old gum on camera one time. It dissolved, and then I had liquid shit for two weeks. Uh, not painful or anything. It was just... It, it did something to me. It was super awkward. That was during the very first underground Christmas gift exchange. You made it to TV. I made it, You ain't the first TV I've ever been on. I've been in bars, restaurants, all over the country. With or without my consent. <laughs>
Pavin Smith. What do we got here? An Arabian Oryx. Look at the horns on that guy. Five XL shirts. Michael Willoughby. I, I do not. I did. I did have five XL shirts. I only ordered like five, and they did sell out. I had to I had to order Gildan shirts. Because they were the one of the few that would offer 4 and 5X. And at the time, I was a 3X. So I was thinking about everybody. Like, I all the way, I had everything from smalls to 5X when I ordered my shirts. But I am out of stock. But when I do make new uh, orders, I will have all the big sizes. Or at least that's my intention. I, I, I don't try to single out anybody. And I charge the same price for them, too. So the, five, the, the bigger shirt people usually get a uh, benefit. Just because usually the bigger the shirt, the more expensive it gets. It's, that's actually what it is. It's like literally how it costs when you order it, too. It's just more material. More material. Incoming call. Who, where's my phone? Who's calling me? I don't even know. Oh, it doesn't even come up on caller ID. I'm not answering. We're, we're breaking cards. Come watch on the video. Don't these people know what I'm doing? These are really 140 a box. Yikes. I don't know. Is that is that tops? Did they put them online? There's no, they can't be 140 a box. Well, they shouldn't be. Look at, this card's not cut well. This is a bad cut. You can see it, like on the card itself. So we have Tory Hunter for the Twins. That's a bad, that's a bad cut. Who said they're 140 a box? I think that's more than I charged, I think. And I'm... Doing all the shipping and fees and all of that shit. Oh, I'm a little bit more than I'm more than that. I'm more than 140 a box at this price. Not by much, but yeah, I am. But that's you know, fees, shipping, time, material, labor, my charming personality on camera for two and a half hours. You know, that's everything. Caldwell 42. But hey. I can't beg po folks to fill a mixer that I think's a fantastic value. So, you know, I don't have any comments about the fill, lack of fill, quick fill, any of those. I have no comment. This card, ha this pack has a ton of cards. Eddie Murray, the Caribbean Reef Shark. Irrelevant. Yeah, I'm irrelevant, too. I said hi to that person at the National. <laughs> In case anybody was wondering. I don't know if anybody knows that. Look at this. This uh, Vladdy Jr. card's wrecked. I don't know what that's about. Holy cow. It, it's creased. It literally, it is actually creased. This Vladdy Jr. card's ruined. I put him in the TV at the VFW. Uh, I yeah, I walked up to him like, can we just uh, can we say hello? What are we, what are we doing here? It's the whole thing, and apparently it's bad blood now or whatever. But like, the guy, I don't know. Before he even asked me about what I did, he just started telling me how I was irrelevant. So, I, that wasn't even you know the uh, direct target of my comment, but now it is. So. The shoe fits, fuck you. <laughs> Period. You know what I mean? That's how you want to be about it. It's cool. I get it. Whatever. Uh, Jorge Soler, Mako Shark, Rizzo, Lester, Grinky, Yastrzemski, and Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. Mini auto. So our second autograph of the entire break. Can we get a backstory? Uh, no. I don't, I don't think there's a need to keep talking about it. It was a long story short. I made a video with an opinion of mine. Uh, a person 
who is the uh, you know I, uh, it's a long time uh, someone took offense to my opinion and apparently and and they they do what I was you know calling out so it is what it is it's not like uh, I said what I said so I said one on one jackpots are bullshit But a one-of-one one jackpot breaker took a lot of offense to that, apparently. Even though they uh, poached their way to the top, and I know that for a fact. Maybe not to the top, but I know they poached from other people that I've done business with. Before they were who they were. Uh, but they felt the need, rather than uh, talk to me or ask me about it, like, hey man, I, I don't really like this or that, you know, is there anything we can do about it? No, I just got in my inbox and told me to do what I do best and stay irrelevant. Which is hilarious because 43 people are watching me open Allen and & Ginner and there's not even 43 spots. So, you know, I'm irrelevant. But it's, uh, that guy is the most passive-aggressive sack of shit I've ever seen, apparently. Like, what is he worried about me for? That video maybe has a couple hundred views, maybe. I'm so irrelevant, I got right in his ear. Somebody probably sent it to him. I mean, I, I don't care. I said it. I walked right up to him at the National. I said, hey, can we just say hello here? Because then I, and I told him. I said, for what it's worth, I said, I wasn't even, you weren't even my thought when I said it. But if that's how you feel, I said it. You know, I'm not, I'm not a flip-flopper. I say what I say. I'm not going to reverse course just because some, you know what I mean? Like, what? think you're somebody so special that I'm going to be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I said, no. I'll never apologize for nothing. This fucking guy talking about his personality. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't even know. Oh, and they said I had full permission to use their name next time if I wanted to name drop them. So I, I don't, don't, I don't. They're at the top. They don't need any help. And the worst part is, though, is I actually... I actually liked the guy for a, a, a while. I mean, he, he was helpful to me. I, I never had any issues with him. He I th he took issue with me, I think, over the archives break at the beginning of the year. Because he got in my inbox again after that video. Because that video got a lot of views. And he told me something about, now you can't wonder why Tops won't talk to you. Because I told him how fucking terrible that product was. But then they wouldn't even break that same product in the retired version. And they just went ahead and sold it on their website. I, my issue with the one-on-one jackpot is, is very simple. It's a passed-on cost to you guys. And if, if, so here's where it would be okay. Is if, I don't know, d depending on who does it, they all have a different way of adding to the jackpot in different amounts and whatever. However you want to do it, whatever. I don't like it, period. It's just a gimmick. I, I'm not a gimmick guy. That's just me. So that's my opinion. Sorry if that offends you. If you like the jackpot, that's fine. But here's the thing. The jackpot is just a passed on cost to the consumer. And if it's like a progressive jackpot, that means if you don't get your one-on-one -on -one or if that jackpot doesn't pay out in your break, you pay the extra money for nothing. I mean, you can say it comes out of a special fund or any of that, but all of the money for the business comes from the consumer. So however you want to say it, you can church it up however you want, but it's just an extra added cost to the consumer. And if it paid out every break, I'd be 100% good with that. Be like, whoever hits a one one or the most expensive card. But on top of that, you already hit a one one Why do you need a cash payout? You just hit a one one The cash payout's bullshit on top of that. Do Give that to, throw, hook that up to the people that didn't hit. I, I, what do you need to win twice for? And then on top of that, if you don't hit and it rolls over, it just goes to the next... You know, you're just paying extra money for no reason. And I'm already in this to give you guys the best value. Even when I have to literally spell out how I do my math behind the scenes. Because folks look at something and they turn their nose up at it. No, man. This is literally the best value I can offer right now. If you don't watch B-Red's break. <laughs> I wake up every day, I piss excellent. <laughs> I mean, that's just my opinion. 
And that the that the, the the whole issue with it is like literally that's my opinion. Somebody took offense to it, who if I was so irrelevant should have never seen it in the first place. And and that's unfortunate. That guy actually saved me money. He literally saved me money with restream, and it's multiple years because apparently the the hookup he he had for me never expires. So I like it already renewed this year again, and I saved a ton of money on restream, like twenty or forty per is a significant amount of money. But hey, man, the guy got upset, so I don't even know why I would be on his radar. They're so above and beyond what I do. It, it makes no sense. Whoa. Ooh, that old Cleveland hat coming back. So it's just, you know, drama I don't give a shit about personally. I'm just the most, I'm not afraid of confrontation at all. And I'm not afraid of resolving issues either. The problem is some people think that maybe I'm just a little too intense. Sorry. I'm passionate. It's not intense. It's not like, it's not aggression. It's intensity. Like, there's a difference. I love this shit. I love breaking cards. I love hanging out with, I love meeting people. I've met a ton of awesome people. I, I like this space. I like it. I'm very passionate about it. And, of course, my opinions I'm going to be just as passionate about. But that doesn't mean I'm not open-minded either. And that's the other big misconception. So, I mean, if, if somebody just wants to act like their shit don't stink and be, be an arrogant ego dick beater, then whatever. Plenty of people like me. And I'm not as irrelevant as I hashtag about. I do plenty fine for what I do. I don't want the world either, friends. That's the other thing. I don't need 27 locations. I don't need 27 people breaking under my name. I don't need that. That's not what I need. I, I need this to, you know, do what I do. And then I have two little kids and one of them has a, uh, you know, special needs. So I, I want to be able to hang out with my kids too. I don't want to be down here 24 hours a day. That's why I don't break at nighttime. I, I get like two hours a day to spend with my kids and that's my kid time. And then after that, I get to see my wife for like an hour and then we go to bed. But yeah, that's it, dude. Corey's right. I'm the I'm just real. I'm 100% real. This is the same person you'd meet in the streets. And like I said, I think I said it last night. That's why I don't like lie to people or mislead because I don't want to have to remember that I lied to you. So I just say what comes out of my mouth. My mouth. It's, it's very it's very simple. We have another frame, so we're starting to see some more frames. Taylor Trammell, we got the Gray Wolf, the dangerous thing in a pack. And it's Braylon Marquez. Guess what, friends? The Cubs sold their entire team, and this dude still isn't in the big leagues. So uh, I'm glad we have his rookie cards all year long. Go Cubs, go. Unfortunately. I came for the cards, but stay for the show. I mean, I try to put on a show. That's the other thing most people don't do. I try to communicate with you guys as much as you communicate with me. And the breaking aspect of this is more than me just sitting here opening cards. You should get some sort of entertainment for the money you spend. Because I'm literally charging you money to do this. Like, I am making money from you to open your cards. They're your cards. They're not mine. So... I feel that if you were going to get skunked or not get your money back, you should at least have a good time with this experience. Uh, no, we're still on uh, still the second one. Oh, the diet with the burp still. Dave, I don't think we're touching that over, Beb. <laughs> I don't think we're touching it. Rose Lavelle. But that's just my my perspective on things. I don't... The the hobby boomed, right? And what I do? Wax got stupid, so I started doing repacks. Because that was the best value. I didn't want to go open a store. Why would I want the extra overhead? I'm not here for that. You know, I, I there's thing. You know, the boom isn't going to last forever. Things are going to settle down. These prices are going to continue to go down. And when all the dust settles, I'm still going to be here ripping cards with you guys. Because then it'll all be able to be pick your team. Everyone will be able to buy what they want. Because I like collectors more than I like people that are just in it for the money. I'm a, I'm a collector too. I just don't collect everything. 
I like people that make, I want everyone to make money if that's what you want to do, but I definitely prefer collectors. They're much easier humans to deal with. They're, they have less, they have less stress invested when they buy into a break because they're just like, cool, I'm going to get some Pirates cards or I'm going to get some Giants cards or I'm going to get some Yankees cards. And then the hits to them are great. Like, oh, we, of course you, you, of course you want to hit, you know, everybody wants to hit, but the people that are just buying something to try and make money, it's a very hard thing to do. Uh, no, the second case will be after this. These are long cases. Long cases. The number's literally in the title. Uh, I think this is 412. I can't see it. My title's too long. I think this is 412. The next one is 413. Was there another 101? No. No, no, no. Just one. We had two 101s, though, when we were on 69 forever. That break, we hit two 101s to put us at 71. The second case will be like half hour roughly. I'll use the facilities, clean this spot up. I got to type out the next list. I got to fix the website listing for the next case. I wanted to list the next case for today, but that's going to be a tomorrow. I, I'll probably list it today for tomorrow. But I, I didn't, with the checklist being fucked up, I, I didn't want to have this non-baseball conversation again. <coughs> Excuse me. And I gave both folks in the first two breaks the opportunity to uh, be refunded for the non-baseball spot. Yeah, this is going to be an extremely long break. We still have six boxes left. So I'm just going to start whipping through it now, honestly. I feel like I've been going slow. I go slower than a lot of people, too, because I'm, I'm here for the interaction. I think that's part of what you pay for. You guys pay for it. If your breaker's not talking to you or joking around or having fun, what are you breaking with them for? They both did awesome, no cavities. Good, good. I was real worried about that. My little one is, like, terrified of the doctor. They had to, they had to give her, like, some sort of sedative to even take her to outpatient surgery. So she went to the dentist for the first time today and apparently did good. And they have no cavities. We make them brush their teeth. Ooh, got that Stetson hat. I gotta get that. I need one of those. Moving on, box number seven. Yeah, I forget what we had. The, it was a Garrett Cole sketch card 101, and then we had a 101 card, and I forget what the card was. Edgar Martinez, archives retired. And then the Garrett Cole Museum sketch card. Two 101s and a mixer. Oh, that's a rip card. It's a rip topper. Rip topper. Well, don't call me a bitch, bud. Now you're not getting a shirt. That's the quickest way to not get a shirt. The disrespect. This is a thick rip topper. Bobby Shoes, it's you, bud. It's Ichiro, I think. I'll open it at the end of the box, Bob. If you want to rip it, I will do it, but I doubt you do. So, if you do want to rip it, let me know. If not, it's probably worth a fortune. Not ripped, but I would love to rip your card and find out what's inside of it. We'll open it up here at the end, but it's definitely a ripper. It's, a, it's thick. I know what it feels like. It's not my first rip topper. Uh, Akers, Carew, Stanton, Gonzalez, Dobie, Kenta, Maeda. I've never pulled a rip card. They're cool. They're cool, man. We've pulled tons of them, and lots of times the customers let us open. They get peer pressured into ripping them live. I'm busting your balls, bud. Maybe my balls are done being busted today. David Bodie for the Cubs. Maybe, may, you ever think about that? Holy cow. I told Joe Bauer, I'm driving it. Anybody living in the New Jersey area, I'm going to need bail money. I'm going to need someone to come bail me out. I don't know exactly where I'm headed to New Jersey, but I'm headed that way soon. I go visit my boy Joe. Huh? Middle age no, that's where his boy lives. Yeah, you send his cards to his, his son. 
I got his real address. <laughs> I'll come from the Bronx. There we go. Oh, and then mock me. Ah, oh, damn it. Ocean City Beach area. Yeah, I'm gonna need somebody to come bail me out over there. I'll smack an old man around. They have Griffey 101 on 1500 on eBay. I think Griffey, I, I literally had this, like, revelation or thought or whatever you want to call it. I had this thought creep into my head this morning or late last night. I think Griffey, I don't want to. Oh, it was this morning when I was pricing teams because I'm looking at this stuff and I'm like, man, it's going to be, like, most, most baseball players, the Hall of Famers that have been passing away, they pass away. People are sad for a day, and nobody really bats an eye. And, 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 and I think Ken will live for a much longer time. But we're in literally a golden era of some of those Hall of Fame type guys that are still signing cards for us and products and things like that. Those, like Griffey was my favorite player as a kid. He was literally like a childhood hero of sorts. And we have another rip card for the Astros. It's Roger Clemens, number to 99. John DeVoe. I haven't seen a peep out of him. Johnny DeVoe with the rip card. Uh, old man. <laughs> but, like, when Griffey passes, I think his stuff will literally explode forever. Because a majority of people collecting at the time of his passing, and I don't even want to talk about this. This is something I thought about, so I'm, I'm talking about it with you. But, uh... I think that'll be a, a gigantic market boom, uh, at least for his cards, you know, long after. Because then you're, we're still getting his autographs, you know, them, they're all going to go away. Used to rip unless told not to rip. Yeah, I, I can't post like that anymore. I'm, I'm too many places. So, like, Twitter and uh, Instagram to a lesser extent, and then Facebook, of course. Uh, Giancarlo Stan, I can't just rip people's cards because they are, they are money. It's money. And without their consent... You know, it's too hard. It's too hard to communicate with everybody. Like, I ask people when I did, and this is another reason. Uh, yeah, Bob, I'm done. It's my boy too. <laughs> uh, so like, fuck. What was I gonna say? Thanks, Bob. You fucked me up. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? Anybody? Side effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip cards. I know that. What else? I, I, I don't know where I was going. Somebody tell me the last seven words I said and I'll remember. Where's my, where's my video? My level, I'm looking at my level. Oh. My, where's my video? It's already, it's already passed. I already missed it. I think you were saying you are going to stop skunking me. But keep mine intact. I will not be bullied. See? Boo. See, it's going to be super boring. We're not going to get to rip anybody's rip cards. Delgado, Garvey, Sano. Anyway, I was talking about something, and I'm not anymore, so there's that. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So when I did personal breaks on Shopify, I literally put in the personal breaks section, it literally said in the header of the personal breaks section, please leave a note with your preferred time in the checkout box and not one single person maybe one person for the entirety of like almost a year that i did personal breaks ever put the time in in the checkout so then i would get the order it would pop up and it would say so and so bought a personal box this time is what works for them perfect i can do that then i know how to arrange my schedule instead of hey like i literally had to text a guy once a total stranger I didn't know how to get a hold of them. I'm like, hey, uh, when are you available for this? I'd like to make sure that you're around because it's what you spent your money to do. So, you know, no offense, man, but if you, it's it's too hard to coordinate with people, especially when, when they don't want to coordinate with you. Or, like, or people that know they can get a hold of me, they'll buy a spot on the website, and maybe I'm in the middle of a fucking movie with my kid on the weekend, and then my... You know, my inbox is going nuts. Like, hey, can we do this, 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 and that? Like, hey, could you just follow the directions on the website? 
I, it sounds like, you know, it, it sounds like I'm just bitching, but it's, you know, I'm not married to this. That's why I tell people, I'm not married to this stuff, man. I try to be as available as I can when I'm available. Outside of that, I kind of like to be left alone. <laughs> hey, I'm live right now, sweetheart. How'd the dentist go? Good. How'd Sissy do? Did she scream at all? Oh, yeah. But she did good, though, huh? That's good. You had no cavities? Uh, Warren Spawn. So, you know, I'm, I don't do personal breaks either. People always ask, what do you got for personals? Nothing. It's, uh, I can't explain how hard it is to get product being a smaller operation right now. It's so hard. I wouldn't even rip a personal on Allen and Ginner at 140 a box. I just wouldn't do it. That's what's, you know, and it's crazy. I have such a ridiculous... The breakers are opening and waiting for a knock on the door. I have, like, such a ridiculous value on my own time. It would blow your mind. And I think everybody should value their time in, in that type of way. Because when you say, hey, I value my time, at like, even... Uh, uh, you can value it however you want. But if you put a quantifiable number on it, like, I'm, I'm my time's worth $100 an hour or $500 an hour or $1,000 an hour... That will keep you from sitting down on the fucking couch and wasting your day. It's like literally a motivating tool. Like, this is my worth. So, now we gotta go get to it. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Now it's time to go get after it. There's no time to just sit. Anyway, rip card, Bobby Shoes. Rip topper. I wonder how many. It might be a double, single, triple. It's number to, It is 49 out of 49. It is Ichiro. This is gorgeous, brother. Congratulations. It is a single rip card. Oh, no, 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 no. It is three collectible. I thought the toppers were triple rips, but there's just uh Oh, no, there is. There's two. Two perforations to tear. I wouldn't, but it is a uh, full disclosure. It's got a little crease right there. It's fantastic. I don't have a giant magnet either. You can check them for metal. I've heard. I've never done it because I've never thought to have a magnet. But there is a rip topper of Ichiro Suzuki. Uh, Laura, here. come here, please. I don't know, Bobby. I don't have a big magnet. Uh, find these toppers. I think they're in there. They're big. Mm -hmm. There should be sleeves too. I don't know if these. Will, I don't know if this will fit in a topper. It's thicker. I just want you to bring me one. They're like 8x10s or some goofy shape. I know I have them. Put it up to your vaccinated arm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I only got half the vaccine, though. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I need a sleeve. There should be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, There should be sleeves. I mean, I'm just going to check and see if this will even go in the topper for these. It's, uh, they're just thick. They don't make this size topper in a bunch of different thicknesses, I don't think. I have them both and I can't walk through the silverware aisle <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's it. I'm supposed to get my second one like two days before my birthday. Oh, yeah, we're good, Bob. We're good, Bobby. Just gonna have a wrinkle. Gonna have a wrinkle, so you'll you'll get a top loaded uh, rip topper. But I'm not top loading. The, we'll just cardboard the other ones. Top loader's too expensive. Did I rip? Uh, Chester, I don't know. I think I sold it. I think I, dude. I wanted to keep so much of that stuff from that collection I bought of yours, but it's just that's not what I bought it for, you know. If I would have just sat on it, oh my goodness. I'd have had to be bringing you more money. 
it took me a while to break even and then i kept a few pieces like i kept a rick flair card you had because it's super dope uh i kept the tops one of the tops chrome boxes i think the other boxes i sold I even sold the I even sold the Sapphire Acuna rookie. I wanted to keep that. I wanted to grade that. I sold it though. I wish I would have said it. I I hear you, dude. <laughs> I wish I would have said on it. <laughs> so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. No means no unless you're James Bond. I'll rip it naked in my bathroom. Ooh, do it live. Ty Cobb. Laura. Get a little help in here. Chisholm Mini. Canna. Uh, also, Mr. Johnson, I did see something about pneumonia lungs and all that shit. Dude, I'm fucking sorry to hear that. Wasting my day. Yeah, you got COVID, dude. Get better. Get better. Get better, bro. That's what you need to do. I wasn't ignoring you. I got sidetracked. See, that's the level of interaction I provide here in Underground. The flare I got in a gift exchange? Yeah, the, the flare card's super cool. I just, I'm a big Ric Flair guy. I love a lot of those pro wrestlers. That pro wrestling was so awesome back then compared to what it is now. It's terrible now. It's so god awful. And I don't think it's because we're older. I just think it's literally the world is so fucking soft that those dudes can't get all fucking coked up and cut a promo and say whatever the fuck they want to say. <laughs> Let's just say the most crazy shit. Now they can't say anything cool. So I, I don't even watch. It's like literally, ooh, strawberries. And I'm not talking Daryl. Uh, you know, they used to just have free reign to do whatever they wanted. And now they just have to be so soft for these networks. No, the TV, it has not always been dumb, bud. Not at all. Maybe you, but not everyone thinks that way. Urias for the Dodgers. He's been doing well. Pro wrestling is all like, whoa, pal. Whoa. And they have, like, the best athletes they've ever had now. But now it's all terrible. It's so terrible. It is really bad now. Because the trash talk is what gets the people involved. Like, oh, you said that about that dude's wife? <laughs> yeah, whoop his ass. I'm starving right now. I should have had the albacore tuna, like Joe Bauer said. Jeez, I still have four boxes. We're going to be here forever. I'm just moving. Sorry, you guys need look as best you can. Because it's going. I'm about to eat this protein bar while we do this break. I got a protein bar sitting right in front of me. Turn my camera off so I can eat it. You guys will never know. Hey, tell you guys I'm diabetic. <laughs> I gotta eat right now. I'm not I'm not joking about diabetes. I'm just I also don't have it. I'm just making a joke. Cause it's funny. Alright, Estevan Boobs Florial. He still signs mini autographs with minier boobs. Uh New York Yankees. Brian Decker, there you go, sir. Close the stream and reopen, Blake. So my comments stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd comment how to do it, but, you know, <laughs> so I won't see it. Yeah, close, reopen, whatever, go to YouTube. I, any Facebook issues, I just suggest watching on YouTube. I, honestly, I know that might not be ideal for everyone, but it's a better quality stream.
Golden Lion Tamarin. Yeah, YouTube's way better. I know it is. I used to have my stream settings so high that it made Facebook not even function properly because they had to downscale it before it would pop up and it was like too much. But we got that dialed in. That was years ago. That was when I learned about the resolution issues though. I've had real technical problems on Facebook, so I know when there's a real... I generally know when there's a real issue and when there's not. Our next topper. Oh, it says congratulations. I was going to get excited. It's Javier Baez for the Cubs. <laughs> but there's this thing where <laughs> he's not on the Cubs anymore. Four boxes left, two-thirds of the way through. We've only been here for 100 minutes so far. Hundred and that's another fifty minutes. That puts us at uh, two and a half hours for the break. Kind of what I was thinking. Two and a half hour break. Ugh. I gotta do another one of these. I'm doing this, yeah. The third case will be tomorrow for sure. Next stopper, we'll just open it up. It's Tatis. Might be the might be the second Tatis. I think the first box was a Tatis topper. Or the second box. Do half cases? No. Why would I do double the sorting and shipping when I could just do it in one go? And it's... Why do people want half cases? That's way less value. It's less value for you. Chris Bryant, now they're just rubbing salt in the wound right now. Half cases are stupid, friends. Dollar for dollar wise. Because nobody's going to, uh, nobody's going to charge you exactly half of what they would charge for a full case to do a half case. It costs more to do a half case than a full case. Just, just simple math. I don't, I don't know if people understand that. It's tw why would it's twice the sorting, twice the shipping, twice the packing, twice the materials, twice of everything. Just do it at once and get a better value. Oh, you do have the Cubs. All right. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even been paying attention. Brady Singer. Walker, or Mark Burley. Walker. Walker Burley. <laughs> oh, boy. Is that fucking Aramis Ramirez? Let's go. Aramis Ramirez. I love it. He's the first lazy bum I ever liked. He'd dog it down the first base, too, if he had a ground ball. But he could hit. Marte, he could hit. He played pretty good third base, too. He had an underrated glove. Without looking at any type of career fielding numbers. He made some good plays at third base. Posey Hat, Parnell Smith, Trammell, Corey Singer. Aaron Boone. Okay. <laughs> this is turning into fucking Gypsy Queen part two. Look at this. Carrie Wood. Kid K. What's up, baby? Game use pinstripe. So, if it is going to be 50 minutes from now, it's 420. Damn it. It means I won't be live until, with the second case, it's like 5 o'clock. It's 730. My kids got cheerily. I'm going to miss that. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble today, boys. And girls. The blue shark is back.
Excuse me. Still 37 people, almost two hours deep. You guys should all pat yourselves on the back. Say hello, like the video, subscribe on the YouTube, comment, turn on the notification bells, all of those things. I'm always telling you to do. You should do those things. Since you're still here. That means you like it enough that it's probably beneficial to do those things. Luis Castillo for the Cincinnati Reds. There's been a lot less celebrity stuff than I anticipated. This is a weird case. Hasn't been a ton of ink. The first box was fantastic, and I, I haven't really seen anything great since the first box. I want a dinosaur fossil or a shark tooth. Something cool. That would be ideal for me. Not that uh, we're doing this for me. Casey Mize Mini. Does he have an auto? I saw like Obama had an auto in five star. Like I think I saw the card. I don't, I don't know who pulled it or where. Not this year, but like previous years. Sometimes they. Uh, Politicians, they do appear in the products. Yeah, Josh, I hear you, dude. I've been trying to pull a fossil or a tooth for like four years now. I get jealous every time because you'll see someone will post one in a, in a group somewhere on Twitter. You'll see one before... It's all said and done, and I'll be extremely jealous of whoever whoever gets it. <laughs> the stimulus checklist. Hey, I will say, uh, this isn't... Uh, a knock on anyone but Trump never sent me a letter in the mail Biden did <laughs> oh, that dude doesn't even know where he is how do they fucking send letters to people but it was about uh, the child tax credit or something I don't know it was just a, a funny observation uh, another rip card Al Kalon Detroit Tigers number 50 Thad Levine I don't know if he's here, so probably don't get to rip this either. R.I.P. Al Kaline passed away recently. Hey, Decker, no politics, bud. Hey, that's it. It's the only time, man. It's, we, we stay away from it here for that reason. We're not doing it. Not doing it. This is baseball cards. Whether I agree or disagree, this ain't the forum for that. I'm not I'm not yelling at you, I'm just I don't I don't want it to escalate. Uh it's a, uh this isn't a terrible sort. It's just a lot of cards. This is easier sort than like pro debuters. So there's worse sorts out there, that's for sure. Way worse. The non baseball actually makes it a little easier. It's not as many cards for the baseball spots. There's so much non-baseball. I have an unripped Devers. That's good, Mike. You should keep that forever. I'm I'm a big Devers guy. One day he'll learn how to play really good defense. And then his bat will still be there. And he's still relatively young. He first got the call in like 17. He was super young and he killed it in a small sample size. And then had a bad 18. And then 
had a good 19 and then COVID, and now he's doing well again, I believe. He's been up and down. He's been, you know, all over the place. But he's super young, so I just chalked that up to growing, growing pains. Hunter Dozier for the Royals. Yeah, Josh, big time. It's actually it's a it's an absolute shock. The next case is not going to have a single baseball player hit in it. You used to get like three clothed relics of the same busted ass news reporter nobody cared about, you know, in every case. It's incredibly dried up. I'm telling you the way these cases have been packed this year. I don't feel like they're doing anyone any favors. Six though. Only had one numbered mini card. Oh, Nativi. Did she stink while she was your girlfriend though? Because then it's just. Then it's just bitterness. Or then you're just stupid. I don't know what the deal is. I never understood the. Fish smell like my ex-girlfriend. Oh, now it just started smelling like fish after you were done with her? I, I don't understand. I don't get it. It's a terrible joke. Be better. Or the joke's on you, really. Is I think the, the better the better takeaway from that whole statement you just made. Uh, this guy. Mike Lang, hockey announcer. There you go, Kronowski. Well, there's still two boxes left, so there's that. Yo, and you had the top guy. Josh, did you see the top guy hit? That's got to be worth something. I really hope that's a Topps employee. I hope he's on Twitter. They're going to be like, shit, how did we give him that case? That's what they're going to say. Yo, that is literally what I'm... Well, well, hey, babe. There you go. That's literally what you're going to get. Literally what you're going to get. You paid for it. Congratulations, sir. That's a happy customer cowbell right there. That's all that is. Suarez. It's a rhinoceros, I think that was. Looking for any rhinoceroses? Rhinosaurus? Rhino. Rhino? Rhini? Is that like the plural form of rhino? Yeah, it's super gross. Not a penguins guy. Sidney Crosby's the biggest diva to ever play hockey. That guy. Well, oh, I said it. I didn't say he wasn't good. I just said what I said. Let's go Hawks. My feed just crashed as you pulled that. Ironically, he retired yesterday. Oh, that stinks. It stinks if you're a fan of him. Mini topper. You just lost. Lost. I lost. I lost your business. Cause the penguin. Oh, cause Sydney's a big crybaby flopper dude. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I appreciated it while it lasted. Let's go Hawks. We're gonna get one year out of a. Oh, here's our hot box. We're going to get one year out of a real goaltender. It's going to be great. 
Garrett Cole, Christian Javier Gonzalez, Scherzer, Jeff McNeil. Yeah, McDavid's good. What the fuck are they doing up there? <laughs> How did that Marion Hosa deal? Marion Hosa was awesome, bud. Loved him. It's a fantastic deal because he was never going to play long enough to have it all pay out. So that was, that was a great contract. <laughs> the NHL's been getting in trouble for contracts like that, though, lately, it seems like. Mary Nolsa deal was awesome. He made, made a pretty big online trade and received my cards today. One of the raw cards had an egregiously bad corner. And that was the biggest card of the deal. How would you handle it? You gotta... Dude, I, I don't like touching these subjects. Hey. Sometimes something's ailing you, bud. And you don't have any cap space to work with. So you need to make somebody get off the payroll for a little bit. I mean, sometimes somebody just has to take one for the team. I don't, I don't know I, what you're talking about. <laughs> but, uh... Whatever it takes, man. Don't. I mean, we're not even a threat, so leave us be. <laughs> leave us be. Uh, here's the first thing I'll say about any sort of bad trade. Look at whatever pictures were sent. In the trade, see if you can see it there. If you can see it there, it's kind of your fault. I, I, I don't. I mean, if, it's hard. Maybe the person I don't I don't know you got I don't know what the pictures look like. It's a very dependent on what pictures you had. If they were shitty quality pictures, then next time you gotta ask for better pictures. But I would still bitch if that was the case. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a, a, an awkward, unpleasant conversation to have, and it's not. I'm glad I'm not having to have it because I hate having them. I had to have a conversation with a guy one time about uh, shipping something. Because, like, he had me... Here's the other thing, like, uh... I shipped it to where the guy told me to ship it to, and it, like, came back as undeliverable or something. I'm like, so now I gotta pay to ship this thing again. I don't wanna do it. I already paid to ship it. Like, you're paying for me to ship it now. Because you gave me... The, he gave me, like... It's supposed to be, like, Northwest or something, and he didn't tell me. So it came back as, like, undeliverable. I'm like, no, man. You gave me the wrong information. You set me up for failure. And if you want this stuff now, you... you you have to pay for the shipping. I'm not refund. I'm like, I'll refund you uh, everything except for the shipping I already paid for. That's why I told him. If you, I'm like, otherwise you could pay the shipping again and I'll send it to you. And the guy was like an asshole about it. Like, dude, you fucked up. It's not my fault. Jazz Chisel, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're, it's not the seller's fault. Sometimes it is. I, I Joey, I hope you can resolve it, though. It's just unfortunate, man. That's... I, it stinks. Mercado, Hawk, Hornsby, and Aroldis. Smack my bitch up, Chapman. Real winner here for the Yanks. Hot box fun time. And get, ooh, we got the baseball cap. That's it. That's going to be the card right there. Biggio Simmons. Kirillov, Story, Bowers, Biggs, K-Line. I'm going to have no voice after the second case. I can already feel it going out. The dude sent me a picture where you could see the corner damage. He did say the cards weren't perfect, and it was my fault for not probing further. Just told him. Yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a tricky situation, man. I hate trade. Like, trading is so hard in general. You got to be, you got to be on top of everything with the trades, man. So with the buy sell thing, if you're really unhappy in a in a situation where you buy bought buy bought something, it's not it's an ethical question at that point. But if you're really unhappy and you really feel like you got slighted, you can always charge back or like cancel you know dispute the charge. You, you, you there's ways there's ways to try and get what you want without with someone who's not going to work with you in a trade. It's a lot more difficult, obviously. 
so uh, it's it just sucks <laughs> it sucks man could not see corner damage oh yeah 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 that that's bullshit if you couldn't see it then then 100 percent bullshit i i i bitch i don't know you know i don't know what you can really do though because ultimately it's up to them to be a good human and uh, unfortunately there's a lot of folks in this hobby that are not good humans or they won't think something's significant when you might etc it's it's just not the not the best but yeah I'd, if you if it's something that you couldn't see i'd definitely be upset 100% Literally, I had to tell my wife she was wrong the other day about Dairy Queen, and I felt terrible doing it. She goes to Dairy Queen, orders, comes home, puts it in the freezer. We go to get it out of the freezer. It's not what she wanted. She's like, uh, she's like, I really want to go up there and get what I. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm like, I'll take it or whatever. I'm like, do you have the receipt? She gets the receipt, and it wasn't even, you know, the receipt said what she had. It wasn't what she wanted, but. The Dairy Queen we have doesn't have one of those uh, light up screens when you order. So like she didn't listen or didn't check or didn't look at her receipt, didn't check her food before she left. You know, it's uh, like, babe, I understand. But man, somebody was ask, asking about buying this guy. Uh, Chris Chick, Kronowski, if you have no, uh, no attachment to whoever the hell this guy is, uh, Wayne Chick on Facebook is actually trying to buy this card. I don't who is this? I don't recognize from the mini picture. Bobby Moynihan. Saturday night live. Yeah, I don't know who that is. That's the S I yeah, who? Saturday Night Live hasn't been funny in a long time. <laughs> corporate corporate comedians are not my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Lurking while working, baby. Happy to see that. Y'all pull and listen to Brad's random and funny rants. Hey, Laura, can you help me out? I'm screwed for this next case because you're going to be leaving right around the time I start. I'm going to have cards just fucking all in right here. <laughs> can you listen to this one? Nope. Nope. Can I get you a little back? Nope. Just going to swim in them. I just, I can get you two in contact. He literally was uh, one of those guys in my inbox while I was trying to get to the gym today. Or maybe it was John Garland. Maybe it was John Garland. I think it was John Garland now that I see the John Garland card. But I don't know. I'll double check to see if I'll, I'll talk to you. It's not my video, Bauer. Go to fucking YouTube. Turn on YouTube. Holy shit. If the video is fucking up, turn on the YouTube platform of better quality video brought to you by Underground Case Breaks. I've said it 20 times in this stream. I have not dropped a single frame this entire break. Not one. Not a frame. And it streams at 60 frames a second. Do the math. It's a shitload of frames. And we haven't dropped one. YouTube link is in the chat. Go watch it there. I love you all. Facebook sucks, and it just aggravates me even more. I'm sorry, it's so terrible, but I have, I don't work for Facebook, and they're too busy fact-checking shit that doesn't even need fact-checked than making sure they're, they have a stable, usable, user-friendly platform anymore. They have shareholders to appease. Uh, moving on. YouTube does do, but their platform works fine. Okay, I'm on YouTube. Commenting on Facebook. Unbelievable, this Joe Bauer. Alright, but you should have no problems on YouTube, though. For real. Should be good to go. You Darvish, last hot box person. Last box of the break, friends. And then, like I said, it's going to be about 20, 30 minutes to get set up for the next one. I appreciate you guys. I really do appreciate it. 
Then it's your fucking internet, Joe. Don't tell me that this shit's freezing. Get better service. Stop. T fucking take the cricket mobile phone back, dude. You got a chisel, I'm stupid. What are you crying about? When you guys start talking the way you talk, like the TV, I'm just gonna be terrible to you. Kirilov. I don't want to deal with trolls 97% of the day. Yeah, McDonald's Xfinity Wi-Fi. It's, it's literally an issue with whatever device you're watching on. Strasburger, what's up, baby? What's up, dude? Village party this weekend. Oh, yeah. Time to head home. Oh, yeah. Magic time. Magic time. Last box magic time. Oh, it's Tiana. Subject used Sarah Tiana. She's comedian. How come they didn't put like a joke on her card? Not, not. I'd laugh. Hey, Laura, we got any more 100 points? If so, grab like four packages. Yeah, Joe, I don't know what to tell you. Your, your service blows, bub. This is awkward. Cecilia Carson, why is this awkward? I'm sorry. This is a uh, this is underground case breaks, where I have uh, just resident trolls that they just want a reaction out of me. Unfortunately, this is Josh. Oh well, that is awkward. Don't you know this is a family friendly stream? No, it's not. Yeah. You just stack them on top of each other. I'll need them later. Thank you. Thank you. Gonna be a good one. It's gonna be one, alright. Babe Ruth. The Lemon Shark. In case you were feeling citrusy. Yes, yeah, since when? Since when what? Since you claim YouTube is better, I switched. Oh, yeah, there you go. Subscribe too, would you? take every youtube subscription i can get you need a thousand youtube subs to stream live stream mobily and i'm never gonna get there i thought about buying them buying subscribers you can do it it's frowned upon but you can do it and how's it look how's it look on the tube do i look any more beautiful galiber torres Claim. I didn't claim. I told you facts. No claims to be made. It's literally a better output resolution. The TV, if it makes you sad, it makes me happy, babe. Just know that. Twins, you're right. I subscribe, she'll never know. Just don't turn on a notification bell. <laughs> she might unsubscribe. Look at this fucking loudmouth jackass. Ruiz, Waddle. Ty Cobb. Winding down the stretch, friends. Looking for any more exciting, fun hits here. We have a Lizardo. Griffey Robinson. I think you missed I Jesus dude. You just have diarrhea of the fingers. Is that what you is that is that what you got going on? Your fingers just type out the dumbest shit. Have you ever touched a rip card? There's I would bet you my entire yearly earnings that I did not skip a rip card. And Andres Jimenez for the New York Mets. 
Uh, Chick, were you looking for Jeff Garland or the Saturday Night Live guy? I pulled the Saturday Night Live guy. And I know you messaged me when I was trying to make my fucking lunch. Like a dick. To tell me, hey, since I'm not in your break and this card shows up, make sure you get me in touch with them. But I think you wanted Jeff Garland after I was talking about it. Oh, uh, we had some hits, though. I pulled some tops guy. It's my most curious hit of the break. Uh, some announcer, hockey guy, for Pittsburgh, of all places. Terrible. Terrible. Garland. Yeah, okay. No Garland. No Garland auto. He's a Cubs fan. Why do you want him? Garland's a gigantic Cubs fan. He does the seventh inning stretch and shit all the time. You can't have him. Tried looking the top guy up, saw nothing. Yeah, he ain't. He's not going to be available. <laughs> he didn't miss a rip. He's probably he's just talking. He's just talking to talk. And I'm walking to walk. I'm starving. Love that guy. Me too. You know why? He's a Cubs fan. Moncada and a Reds Griffey. So, to recap, we did have a rip topper Ichiro for the Mariners. This is probably quite a, a bit of money. This is, I would guess this is a significant, significant card right there. And then for the hits, lots of hits. But sometimes quality is better than quantity. Recap time, friends. Here we go. Thank you very much. We have Andres Jimenez for the New York Metropolitans. Moynihan, Saturday Night Live guy. Uh, Roll is Chapman, Jazz Chisholm, Hotbox rookie. Jeff McNeil, uh, Lang for the uh, Pittsburgh uh, uh, Penguins. The little penguin dudes. Uh, Hunter Dozier for the Royals. Rip card of Al Kaline. Luis Castillo, Kerry Wood, Chris Bryant, Estevan Florio for the New York Yankees, uh, Giancarlo Stanton, Roger Clemens, rip card. So we had three rip cards, maybe four. Gliber Torres, uh, Sarah Tiana, comedian, comedian, I think is what you're supposed to say. Julio Urias, Aaron Nola, David Booty, Max Kepler. Yeah, I said Booty. He sucks. Braylon Marquez, who's, despite all Cubs efforts, is not even in the big leagues. Jose Abreu, uh, Ryan Jeffers for the Twins, Torrey Hunter for the Twins, J.D. Martinez, Denelson Lamette, Bryce Happer, uh, this Pardo non-baseball guy. Akers, a soccer player, Nico Horner for the Cubs, Mike Trout for the Angels, Juan Soto, Mickey Moniak, Terry Scooball, 1-1, Carl Yastrzemski wooden mini card. Uh, the tops dude, Peter Kelly, Garver, Derek Lee, and uh, the rich dude. Yeah, yeah, by a, a, a wide margin. But let's break this down even further because it, it was uh, surprising, to say the least, how badly they were out hit. But. They only account for one-sixth of the checklist, I think. Something like that. At least in the base card set. But the hits, I expected a lot more. Lots of I expected a lot of crap relics of unknown celebrity people. So maybe they didn't send any clothes in this year. I, I, don't, I don't know the deal. But... Yeah, it was uh, a lot less... Than I thought, or historically. So we had seven. So we'll think about that for the next case. Braves let me down. I gotta get this stuff cleared out. I got another case to do, friends. So if you're in the next one, I will see you later. If you're not in the next one, I will see you later. If you're in the next one, I'll see you later.